Hey, before we get into today's show, I'd like to thank Dre for his kind words in his review over on iTunes. But can I ask you a favor? If you are enjoying the show and what I'm doing here, the biggest thanks and compliment myself or any podcaster for that matter can receive is leaving the show a review and five-star rating over on iTunes. I don't take our time each and every single day for granted and truly appreciate you lending me your ears for a few minutes. It does take a lot to produce the show each and every single day. Those ratings and reviews do make a difference in not just the podcast being found, but also that you support me and the show. It would mean the absolute world to me if you have 46 and a half seconds to head on over to res.com slash iTunes and do so. Now, let's get on with the show. Hey, Feasters, and welcome to episode 126. And today is a bit of a different show. Do you have a mantra, a manifesto? Is it something we really need? I don't know, but I'm going to share with you two of mine. So let's dive in. Welcome to the Ask Res podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. And as a freelancer, I don't know, as a business owner, I've heard this thing about having a personal manifesto, some document or some statement about who you are, what you're all about and all that kind of stuff. And I, you know, I have thought about it. Um, But I don't know that it's something that anybody really cares too much about more than myself. So why state it? Well, I was asked to be, first, I I had the pleasure of being on Philip Van Dusen's Brand Muse interview series over on his YouTube channel, and he asks all his guests what their personal mantra or personal manifesto is every single time. And like I said, while I don't have one that's set in stone, so to speak, there are certain sayings and things that I do live by and help me guide me and help me stay on track when things get rough or things get too big, right? Too successful. They're sort of like a grounding point. Um, so I thought maybe if you want to know what my personal manifesto is, just like Philip did uh, it, when he asked me on his uh, YouTube show, I wanted to share that with you. So The first thing is be consistent. Two, simple, concise words that for me tell a big story about who you are. It's something that I've heard from many folks that I've respected growing up as a kid and in my professional career as well. And this is one of the few things, to be honest with you, that I've said to my one and a half year old son since the day he was born. The reason that this for me is a personal mantra is because I'm a planner and I don't like to let folks down in any sort of way if they're planning on me. So being consistent means that you aren't late, that you don't miss deadlines, that you are dependable. This goes for personal as well as professional lives. Think about your list of friends, your list of close friends, right? There is inevitably at least one that shows up late to the party all the time. Uh, that's that you. The rest of you guys all say, "Well, we really, we need to remind so and so to make sure that they show up." Is that person the person that you call when you need a ride to someplace? Probably not. But that's who you become if you're not consistent. The person that's not dependable and. Being dependable and reliable in business is an absolute must for you to be successful. Otherwise, don't even bother. The second thing is don't be the smartest person in the room. This is something that you'll hear a lot of, especially in the business world, uh, because, well, it's true, right? Having someone who you can gain knowledge from and learn from their experiences has a positive effect on you and what you want from from your life. 
there's a reason why you'll hear about apprenticeships in various fields like tattooing and other artistic areas. It's why you're going to hear about how mastermind groups are game changers and people rave about them if they're in one. Learning from others is the best way to grow your knowledge and your skills so that you can get to where you want to be and improve yourself. Learning from their life experiences, their business experiences, their mistakes and successes will help you pave your journey. When you feel that you are the smartest person in the room, then it's time to find a different room. You are going to outgrow these mentorships and these coaching programs and these masterminds. It happens and that's okay. But by outgrowing these rooms, keep in mind that there are always other rooms to go into. You just have to open the door. So if you have a question, ask Rez. That's me by leaving me a tweet at Rez on Twitter or going to askrez.com and go ahead, drop your email into the email box there and I'll be happy to build you a customized playlist based around you and your experience. Until next time, it's your time to live in the feast. Oh, 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 oh,